Hello friends, welcome back to School Management System in Laravel. Last video we have implemented like a full calendar. Students said my calendar. In this video we can continue exam timetables because of the last video I will show you my timetable inside a full calendar. So first of all you need to go like a exam timetable inside. So you can see it like here like home economics, English economics, like two subjects there. But what's the exam name so first term 2023 to 2024 so this is the exam title need to show which we need to show like subject name and subject against we need to show like exam date in our side so let's show you and how you can do it inside a my calendar inside so i can show you step by step so let's go to code now we have already created a new controller for like a calendar controllers yes and here this is the calendar controller for the time table i just make a comment so you can easily understand otherwise we can create a new function for this one so look like better just create another function here create it just create functions get timetable okay get timetables i just create a common function so i just copy all things and I can put it here and I return dollar result dollar result okay so after I put here like a dollar dollar this get timetable so you can't found the error don't worry about it because we have create a common function like a get timetable also we can pass this class ID to here class id here we can pass like one parameter class id and we can put here class id okay so inside a get my timetable inside we can get a timetable records like class timetable records let's go back again and refresh the page so you can check is error generated so working very well no any errors so now we can do like a exam timetable so simple check copy and here you can create like a get exam timetables exam timetables and here we can also put like a get exam timetables and just create a new function below otherwise up let's create it up so we don't want to go again again scroll and here you can pass class id so first we need to put here our code about exam timetable so let's go to back to my exam timetable so we can check how it's how we are did so just copy and paste here so we can do it quickly okay so just go to students slash my exam timetables so routes inside go to web inside we can search my exam timetables and here we are did codes so just copy all things and you can put here so here we already passed class id because you can see it like here is a class id there like same like we did here you can see it like class id inside parameter so this parameter we have passed inside so inside parameter i have passed so just i got the group by wise i got a uh, all the exam id let me show you inside database so let's open the our database closed php my admin taking few seconds to open the database so after you, I need to go my database schools.com okay schools.com inside let's go where is the I can go so I can show you like uh, exam scheduling and exam scheduling inside whatever class ID I can pass this class ID against I get a uh, exam IDs let me make a DD and I can show you okay, here I have made already query so you can see it like a uh, get exam so you can see it like a uh, exam scheduling because exam scheduling dot star here I have made a like uh, one join query exam exam.id exam id and here we have made uh, class id inside web query you can see it like whatever pass here parameter this parameter I have passed inside this models okay so let's declare this model here and after I have made a group by I can show you you can see it like a group by suppose you can follow this series means you can follow this video like uh, how to made a my exam timetable so you can easily understand how we can get here data okay so after i made a order by and this is the order but here you can made order by not order by is not related because we are using here start date and 
it means exam date and start time end time we don't want to use start time and time just need to use exam dates okay i think it's clear so exam times exam id and we also pass like here class id again so we can get the data about like exam id and class id again first i get a get exams i can show you step by step so it's good for you okay get exams i just refresh the page so you can see it here i get a two exam ids check go you can see like exam id and class id so exam id and class id again i get a subject like uh, exam id is uh, like 2 so here is a 2 on class id equal to 3 so you can see it like a, this is the two records i get for two subjects okay and what with you can see like exam date start time and time also can see and also can see room number because so room number we use okay which is the room you need to go for exams after i made a year for each loop and for each loop inside i will get the data get exam timetables i will pass like exam id here and also i pass class id whatever inside is a parameter so this parameter again i get the data here you can see it like exam scheduling and you can, here you can make a where to query like exam id and class id because before we have no any exam id this reason i have made a get all the exam so above function we will get the all the exam id through after i made a for each loop and we have store all the data inside one variable first i create dollar result variable result inside i have add a exam name exam name inside i have created another variable like a result as result as means a result subject and here you can see data subject data subject inside i will store all the subject name exam name start time and time room number and full mark and passing mark and after i will return result variable so let's make a just here return results let's make a dd so i can show you what i get here okay let's go back again refresh the page so you can see it like i get a two area one exam name like a first term 2022 to 24 so you can see it like same like this looks you see and here you can see like a six error but we need to make here conditions no need condition because we are getting the only whatever data there this data we can get in here so you can see it like same like here you can also see it so same things whatever list here showing this is list here we are get so we need to implement this list inside a my calendar so let's remove the dd and go to my calendar files resources inside we can go to student let's close to the admin one and go to student student inside we need to go my calendar where is there okay here there and here we need to create another for each loop because now we need to store to event push because last video i will show you how to make events how to make a full calendar codes just copy this all the code and put here because we have already created one event array here and we just copy this exam time tables and paste here and here value to change to exam so it's good and exam dot here exam because you can see it here we have passed like exam exam inside we can get the i think we need to change here name to i think like value e value e means exams okay means here we can pass like a exam so here we can store the all the data so first we are getting the like uh, what is the name we are getting name so this is the name inside i have pass inside titles okay day of week we don't need here so just remove start time and time you also don't need so just remove okay because here we can pass inside a exam dates i think yes exam date here there so we can pass the exam dates so just we can create uh, another one like event inside lots of event there so start start means the which time we can start so just copy and i think otherwise you can type like this dollar exam here we can pass like uh, what is the name of the date exam dates okay so here we have part like start and end so it's the same time so just you can pass here end means the event this is the title start is like a full calendar keywords inside event methods okay so just go to back here we have already declared here event array you can see it here
just go back again and refresh the page so I can show you. So you can is working, but let's I can go to month wise so it look like we can see it. Not showing I think so. Where is the problem? English economics start title T I T L E starts ends and I think let's make a no need to do anything else I do so event ID we can also add so it look like better event ID we can make like a one event ID so let's go back again refresh the page and let's make comment this code because I I am confusing so is our code there cannot there so let's see is code there cannot there okay just go to month this is the May May inside is a date there so let's go to another tabs and refresh the page start and exam dates also okay so start uh, title T I T L E start and end just refresh the page again because I will not add a like a semicolon means like double quotes this is not showing now you can see it like showing you see let's go to month so you can see it like a sorry about that because I will not add this one this is because sometime I am forget but now is good showing what is the problem because I will not add this one this reason not showing so, okay event ID I think we don't need we have try suppose event ID is problem this reasons let's refresh the page again so it's perfect let's remove this is the installation view Good time grid weeks let's go back again so now you can see it like a month wise so you can see like a Arabic science Arabic science Arabic science Arabic science every place showing the value E let's pass here value E because I have passed like a value so he can accept these words okay by mistake I have passed just go back again refresh the page so you can see it like examining you see now we need to pass like here also we need to pass here like a subject name space and you can pass like a exam and just go to back again and what's the name subject name here you can pass so you can see it like here subject name also basic technology you see but it's a cutting so just you need to go to wix otherwise you need to go listing so you can see it like because he cutting i can show you how to make a big but let me finish first let's make a first big so i can show you just you can make a spec element and just check where is the problem no wrap you can see white space no wrap so just you can type normal so it's going to two lines and you can easily understand just copy this class here and go to in our side just put here you can create like a style and you can put here but not like this just we can create a, like a one section I think section already there inside so just copy script section script and put here and here we can change to name style I think we already add a aisles I can show you okay and section and I put insights after I go back then and replace the page so you can check it's working not working okay okay working very well so this is the style where is I save so I can show you this section style just go to resources inside uh, layout inside into go app inside you can see it we have already add is a content there also we did like a scripts so we are using got it okay now we can show here like our start time and end time because date to already know okay this month so you can see like a first of may so just we need to show here start time end time just go back again to my calendar page and here we can make like a one dash sign so like look like better you can see it here you see now color brackets inside we can add start time and end time just copy and paste here and say what is the start time just go back again and uh, 
start time and I can put a start times also we can put like an end time I can type it to end times so what is the two means end times this is the end times let's go back again refresh the page so you can see it here you see 9 to 11 let's make a am pm so look like better so you easily understand okay so we can use a date format function here date at i a str2 time dollar value dollar exam here you can put like a n time same like you can do like okay I, I can change don't worry and just copy and you can put here here is the end times good just you can change here to start time let's go back again refresh the page so you can see it like a 9 m to 11 m look like better same let's make an uncommon for this code so you can see it like what's the mix up work Okay, let's go back again refresh the page so you can see it like a here is a Monday he can show anything like a timetable and here you can see it like a exam timetable okay so I think it's clear here is a lots of property there so what do you want to change color to make a red I think red work not work I don't know otherwise we need to use a is a codes uh, yes working you can see like a reds exam is equal to reds in that type is a color of reds also you can do it like here link so what do you want to click on the link so just you can click links means link means url i can type like anything like i just put here this url okay let's go to my exam timetables i just copy and i put here okay i just refresh the page and i click here so it's automatically going to my exam timetable so you also provide here linking let's make a linking so for anybody click so you can understand okay this is the work for this one so i can just make link here okay let's go back again if it's the page so look like better just go to list so list wise you can see it like a 9 m to 10 m home economics and here you can see like old days not old days we are already showing this time here you can see it let me make start time and time work not work so we have already did here here the start end there but start time and time work so just copy and paste here okay we can try because i don't know work not work i just show you is working not working i don't know so working so it's good let's back and refresh the page uh, so lots of issue i think because it's showing very, very big start time and times I just go to list week wise 9am 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 so it's not working 100% it's not working because we are using the start and end so let's remove okay so here I show you about the timing like an exam timetable timing first terms 2020 basic economics here you can see it like 9am to 10am so now everything is clear for the exam timetables and suppose I go to next one so next month is a no any exam this is a not showing suppose I go back so no any exam only we have did here in this month exam so showing same like you can see it here like first terms first terms first terms first terms you see on economics I think day same two days so here is showing the second days like here you can see like 2020 and 2040 40 30 23 23 23 23 is a like a uh, lots of subject there so showing here lots of and 22 24 is showing two subjects so it's showing the two subject i think 24 here is one and also here is one so last two one okay and here you can see like week wise also you need to see day wise so day wise you can see it here and here you can see like list wise so list wise you can see it i hope now is everything is clear about the exam timetable and also you are clear about the my timetable insider Full calendar I hope. I hope do you want to like this video so please like and do you want to see like